What's up guys, my name is Khan and we're back today in Scrap Mechanic and uh, we're back with another build that I started in a stream but uh, now that I've had some more time I've gone back and finished it and that is of course this awesome piston powered steam gear train. So this is sort of modeled after a uh, Shea style steam engine but uh, I sort of just made the aesthetics all on my own but anyways before we get into that I want to I want to talk a little bit about the issues so I do use the modded wheels here but the issue I was having was with this section right here and during the stream I had this sort of uh, universal joint where it goes from the rotating axis here down to the wheels on this rotating axis but the problem I had is when you go around corners that joint needs to be able to expand and contract and one of the biggest problems is on on real trains they use an expansion joint which is almost like a box tubing like when when they made these trains way back in the day and so it's like one box that fits inside a, a bigger sleeve and it is allowed to slide in and out but it maintains the rotation motion and in scrap mechanic I tried playing around with some different gear configurations and all sorts of things but then I finally ended up with this which is the double suspension so we've got two controllers here which is just hooked into this sort of uh, double piston sliding mechanism almost like two pistons but uh, if we activate one you can see it slides the one way and if we activate the other it slides the other way and these two suspension pieces are actually hooked up in opposite directions and so you can see there no matter what if we stretch this out, we still get two blocks or a full suspension piece of movement in this direction. And this pivot point doesn't change and there's no stress on that pivot point. And then the same sense, if we push it the other way, we get uh, two blocks in that direction. So this kind of works really well. Now, the only thing that is important is that one suspension is set one strength higher than the other. If we set them both to be the exact same here, then when we retract it works fine but then we go back you can see there it doesn't really extend fully and it sometimes causes issues on the train here we've basically done that so this axis here is fixed and this will rotate uh this little arm here allows us to just provide uh, a little bit of lift to that cv joint you can see it's at a constant angle and then as this rotates it will go down to this section here and it'll rotate at the same speed as that's rotating which then goes to the straight axle which then goes to the two sets of wheels which are on the truck so now the wheels can fully rotate uh so after all that i decided to build a sort of test track so you can see oh you probably can't see it's very difficult to see but it goes all the way around just a, a sort of loop goes up and then over the terrain and uh, using it for testing this steam engine and then of course i just built some extra stuff so we've got a car in the back here now the whole train is pretty much vanilla except for the wheels the wheels are using the uh, derf mod pack but other than that uh it's pretty much vanilla and then we come in here we've got like this nice burner whatever and uh, i really like the first person view you can kind of get that nice little window and uh, there's only two switches i mean it's really straightforward uh, the green is go uh which starts up the whole engine and starts the steam engine spinning which we can see through here and then of course the red switches direction so by default it's moving forward so we can just turn that on and the pistons will fire up and uh, we should be moving here you can see we're, we're moving quite nicely and we can just uh, uh yeah we'll just get in a seat here and yeah, so it, it's really quite awesome. I love the way this works. Uh, it is getting a little bit laggy though. As I started to add more and more to the engine, it gets laggy. And those expansion joints actually, um, you know, as well as they work, they do uh, they do make it a lot more uh, a laggy, which is kind of a pain. But you can see there, the one on the back there, as the back wheels need to rotate, it just sort of flexes no problem. And same with the one on the front. Now, we will get a little bit stuck on this corner, and uh, I think it has something to do with the, the way this piston configuration is set up. It's, uh, it used to work a lot better, but as I added more and more blocks to this train, uh, it got stuck on this one corner. Oh, maybe it won't here. I don't know. It might. It might. But uh, I also fit. Yeah, see here that it'll get hung up a little bit. It'll eventually power its way through. Um, it only started doing this when I started adding the body to this train and putting a lot of weight on it. It does work pretty well when you don't have this whole elaborate piston gear setup going on, but it is pretty cool. I mean, this is a three-speed piston engine, so it's got two sets of sensors there uh, with three pistons, sorry, and uh, and then that goes down to the two transaxles. So this is sort of like the, uh, I think it's a 322 configuration is what they're, I'm not sure. This is, uh, yeah, three pistons, and uh, when we hit the reverse, all we're doing is choosing the other set of sensors, and so that literally just stops the pistons and starts them spinning in the opposite direction. Then we can hit that switch again, and it'll work every time so all we're doing is changing which sensors are activating which pistons so it just changes the sequence of the uh the timing but uh overall 
I'm really happy with this build. I love how it, it just drives mechanically. Uh, it will get hung up there. Again, it does have like almost infinite power, um, but for some reason it hangs up. Definitely just a train I wanted to build. Uh, I think I'm going to try building some other steam trains, so if you guys have any other ideas for what kind of trains you want to see, let me know in the comments down below. I do still need to build like switch track pieces, um, and I do need to work on uh, some other stuff as well, like uh, maybe some bridges and stuff like that. And I want to, you know, decorate this track a little bit more, but for now I just wanted to have this test track. And you can see there on the straight sections, this thing really picks up some serious speed. But uh, when it's going through the corners and all the expansion joints are twisting and everything else, it's uh, it's definitely not as quick as it uh, could be. But overall, I, I love the look of this train. I think it's I think it's great. Um, I love how it's got that one like piston mechanism off the side. We've got this big boiler here, and you know just some stacks. Uh, I mean, you know, it's pretty pretty cool. I love these wheels though. They really make it feasible. But yeah, I also figured out the other the other issue I was having with the uh, with the stream was the corners. When I was trying to make the corners, let's see if we can get up here. Let's do some. This thing's very very slow, so you can just kind of run on it while it's moving. But with these corners, I was having an issue because when you go from a, a two by one block to a one by one block, it's very very steep. But uh, I didn't realize Durf actually has a three by one or three by two block in the Polygons mod pack. So the track uses the Polygons mod pack. Uh, the train uses just the regular mod pack, I believe. This mechanism, honestly, I, I built more for show rather than uh, to actually be a feasible train. I just really wanted to do this and uh, see if I could make a gear train work. And uh, there's a ton of other train mechanisms I'd like to try. Obviously, I wouldn't mind putting the wall shirts train onto, or uh, the wall shirts mechanism, sorry, onto a train and maybe try out doing the, uh, the Stevenson as well. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. And uh, I think just to prove that uh, the train concept is feasible. I mean, this this one definitely lags the world up a little bit, having this uh, this mechanism. You can see there, as soon as we put it on a lift, the frame rate, like, triples. But, uh, yeah, definitely definitely gonna have to put this one in the museum somewhere and, uh, and not have it out-spawned all the time. But uh, really, really cool train. I really, really like how it works. And uh, these are my train cars. So they're a little bit longer than that, uh, that engine there. And uh, definitely you know working now i believe my track is nine width in in the middle but just to prove how this all works so we can take one here i put a, electric motors on this one uh just to show that uh, the train mechanism works and uh, the track is okay i didn't put any tilt down on the uh, trucks you know on the the front and back trucks that attach to the train there you see they only go left and right but uh, i figured they didn't really need the up and down tilt because of the oh whoops until that happens, I guess. I need more weight on this. Uh, this train doesn't have enough weight on it here. But overall, guys, I'm really excited to do more train stuff. Uh, I really like trains in Scrap Mechanic. It'll be a lot of fun. And obviously in Survival, not really as practical, but let me know what you guys want to see down in the comments down below if you are interested in more steam trains. Uh, I definitely am going to have to keep only a few of them spawned at a time, and I really do want to expand this track out, maybe make a track that goes around the whole map. We've got a canyon on this map, which is great. You can see right over there, so definitely do some sort of like, uh, you know, bridges and stuff like that over the canyon. But uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below, and, uh, and you know, make sure you guys hit that like button and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm a huge fan of recreating these old school mechanisms. I mean, this isn't really a perfect recreation. There's a few things that are done differently, but it's the same basic principle. You have a, a piston, steam powered piston engine, which then goes to two expansion joints, which goes to your wheels, which are powered then by, by sort of a differential gear. And uh, this is the part where, you know, not having a slope down kind of sucks. But you can see there, we're kind of, these cars are too light, even with all the metal that's on them. Uh, the, the wheels are too powerful, they just lift over the edges of the track sometimes. So you need to have really quite, quite heavy, uh, cars. You can see there, it wants to, like, ride up over the edge of the track rather than go straight in it because our car is still too light. Now that we've got some weight, seems to work a lot better. And, uh, like I said, gonna have to make, uh, definitely put more engines and more cars with a lot more weight on them. But, uh, you can see there, those back wheels, without the weight, they really do want to, uh, just lift up over the edge. But uh, make sure you guys let me know in the comments down below what kind of stuff you'd want to see, what kind of features you'd want to see on a railroad. Um, and yeah, I definitely, definitely need more weight on these trains. So you can see there, you know, that, that section of the corner right here that was causing issues with the other one doesn't even, you know, doesn't even really phase this one. So it really is uh, the fact that the, the other train there 
just uh, has all those gear mechanisms and stuff. But uh, let me know what you guys think, if you think there's a better way to do these corners or uh, other track pieces or whatever. But uh, I believe this track is nine wide, so it, it seems to work out. And you know, we can just make a, a series of trains here, drive around the map. I, I don't know about making a high speed train. I feel like a high speed train hitting these corners would cause a lot of problems. But anyways, I really love trains. I'm, I'm super happy that the mod pack allows you to make trains relatively lag free without all this crazy track stuff. Uh, but let me know what you guys think, of course, down in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of a train world. Uh, I'm, I am gonna continue to use just the modded wheels to make things a little bit easier and then the polygons for the track pieces. But uh, make sure you guys hit those buttons down below. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see y'all next time. Alright, let's just, you know, let's just do it. Oh yeah, that's, that's a bad idea.